Plotline Films specializes in both filmmaking and media education, and they're also a part of this year's Queen City Shout. So joining us now is the executive director of the group, Jim. Jim, thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me on. This yes. Awesome. Yeah, we're excited to learn more. So let's just start with that. What exactly is Plotline? What do people need to know about this program that you guys do? Yeah, so we're a nonprofit. We're local here to Springfield. We teach filmmaking. So we teach, especially to youth, 10 to about 17 years old. We teach them all aspects of filmmaking, uh, script writing, uh, video editing, directing, and of course camera. Yeah. How does someone who's interested in learning filmmaking become one of your students? Yeah, they just reach out to us, plotlinefilm.org. Uh, we're accepting students uh, for our summer camp coming up here, which will be happening actually at MSU on oh, nice. campus there at Strong Hall. Uh, but we also have semester classes that were one, well underway here for the spring semester. Mm -hmm. We also have our annual showcase that will be at the Moxie Cinema in June. But more before that, we're going to have uh, Queen City Shout. Yeah, so let's get into that. So mm -hmm. Queen City Shout's happening all week long. We've covered it the last few days on the show. Um, you guys have your very own showcase day on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell people kind of what um, audiences can expect when they come out and um, experience some of the films you guys have been working on? Yeah, so uh, this is actually a plotline uh, classics showcase. So okay. we've been going uh, strong since 2018, at the end, actually in the end of 2017, but been doing programming since then. We have, I don't even know how many student films at this point. <laughs> so I picked pretty much my favorite ones. Uh, from 2018 to 23, and we're going to show about 90 minutes of those back to back. I love it. Yeah. Very, How long cool. do the, are the films typically? Do you um, have a range that you try to keep it to, or is it up to creative freedom? It is creative freedom in the time that we have to do it. Sure. So we always get it done, you know. Uh, so, but typically they could be somewhere between three to 12 minutes. Okay, so more like short films. They're short films. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's incredible. What does it mean to you to be able to see these like kiddos come in, learn some of these skills, maybe they didn't know it all before, and then be able to like wholly make a film? It's amazing. I mean, it's what gets me up in the morning. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's this is my passion. Uh, I'm the founder of Plotline, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm involved with all the programming. So it's a huge thing. The things that the that the students learn from filmmaking, the the teamwork, the follow through. You know, we always finish what we start. Uh, the collaboration, it's just so many life skills that they're getting. Whether or not they pursue media in their life throughout, they have these valuable skills that they're going to be able to apply to their mm -hmm. professional careers, whatever they may be. What is like one big surprise in creativity that you've seen from a student? I know there are probably hundreds of stories that you could share, but like, what comes to your mind where you're like, oh, I didn't expect them to go there with this story? Uh, one of them uh, comes to mind is the Walking Dead memes. Oh. Uh, it was kind of a play on The Walking Dead, but this one was there are so, uh, kid got infected by uh, watching a meme because his computer short, short circuited, and then everyone he touched became a, a dead meme. And so the the different memes that they came up with in the stories and how it spread and how they had to stop it, it was a lot of fun. That sounds really very fun cool. and very yeah. topical. I feel like anyone could probably gain something from that that they recognize yeah. from. That's really neat. I don't think you've touched on this yet, but what are the ages that you're typically working with on these films? Yeah, typically 10 to 17. So okay. we have a uh, tweens class, we call it. So 10 to 12 Love it. and then a uh, teens class. Our summer camp, which will be happening in July to the end of, uh, to the beginning of August rather, is going to be actually a little wider range, about 11 to 17. So we're going to have a bunch of kids. In yeah. That too. So when these kiddos come and work with you, is this, are they with you on like a film by film basis or is it like a semester long type thing? Like how how long are they like involved, I guess, with Plotline and what's happening? Yeah, so our semester is about 14 weeks, so once a week. Uh, and we take them through uh, two to three different films. Okay. Uh, one at the beginning, and then we go into editing, and then we get into original collaboration. That's actually what we're doing today. After this, I'm going cool. to class. <laughs> and uh, we are pitching story ideas, and we're working on three-act structure, because the second half of the semester is actually where we do the big movie. Nice. Tell everyone again how they can get in touch with you and maybe get their kids involved in the summer camp. Yeah, they go to plotlinefilm.org. Uh, that's our website. They can go on social media. We're at Plotline Film on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, we love to, to get more students and, and let people know about all this fun stuff we're doing. Yeah. Perfect. And then Sunday with Queen City Show. So check them out. Plotline Film. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. Thank you. You're doing pleasure. really cool things with these kids and the films that you guys are making. I know. So I wish I could have been I was. I wish I had this when I was a kid. Yeah. Yes, I was yeah. just <laughs> thinking that too. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, comedian